In this video, we're going to be showcasing the Surge 2 gameplay along with some of the new features. I just wanted to say real quickly, thank you, Deck13, for providing us with this footage. Not too many people out there got it. So big thank you from us, uh, and let's get on with the footage. The first thing I want to talk about is Jericho City. This is like the main hub of the game. And one of the things you're going to notice about the Surge 2 is that the environment is drastically different than the Surge 1 in terms of the setting. It still has that postmodern apocalyptic feel, but now there's people. The city has full of people and life, which is a stark contrast to the Surge. As you watch the gameplay here, you're going to notice that not everyone is friendly, and there's some people that have set up security for the city, and they don't take kindly to foreigners or strangers, particularly ones they think might be infected. One thing you'll also notice is that enemies have a lot more firearms than they did in the first game. It was pretty rare to see enemies with these sort of weapons uh, in the Surge, but now a lot more enemies have guns, and you're going to see more combat that involves ranged, and even the player character himself has more ranged combat in the form of the drone. You can get attachments such as a sniper rifle to attach to it. So there's going to be a little more mix of ranged and melee combat, although it still leans very heavily to the melee side of things. Another really important change to the game is the differentiation between block and parry. Previously in the surge, you could hold block for a second in order to deflect an attack to give you an opening. Now you can actually hold block uh, to block attacks and, you know, you take some damage through your block, kind of like Souls games. Um, but also now you have directional parrying, which allows you to parry in certain directions, which is more a high-risk, high-reward style of play. You can see from the fighting the boss here, he does a directional parry and it rewards him with a huge opening where he does massive damage. Dismembering and looting enemies is still a huge part of the surge, and now with twice as many weapon types, this is only going to become more true. New armors to get. And one thing that's really cool is that the addition of this feature with boss fights, so you're now you're going to be able to sever arms and legs of bosses, really crippling them and changing the way these fights go. I can't wait to see how this plays out through the whole course of the game, and I really hope that all the bosses they have have this feature. One really mysterious thing that not a lot has been revealed about is the online components of the game, but here they do showcase the asynchronous feature of online messages where players can spray paint uh, signals or messages to other players to try and help them direct them where to go, such as, hey, here's some supplies, come get it, uh, and other things like that, or danger ahead. Uh, it is mentioned that there are several online features in this game compared to The Surge, which had none. Uh, we don't know what these all are yet, we just know that this is one of them, so what the other ones could be is anyone's guess. I do not think these will include co-op or multiplayer of any kind. Um, it would be amazing if they, they held this under wraps the whole time and then just blew our mind like release, hey, by the way, there's co-op. That would be outstanding, but I'm not that optimistic. So I'm not exactly sure what the other things could be, so we'll just have to wait and see what those are. Lastly, although not shown in this video, there will be character creation in The Surge 2, which is a huge addition, something we specifically mentioned in our review of The Surge that we would have loved to have seen. Glad to see that Deck 13 has taken that to note and have added it in this game. I think players are really going to appreciate that. There was recently a closed beta for The Surge 2 that we were invited to, although I can't go into details about it, but I like what I see so far. I think people are really going to enjoy The Surge 2, and Deck 13 seems to be headed in the right direction with their games. Every single game they publish gets a little bit better and a little bit better. I would love to see more of a huge increase, but the fact that they're going in the right direction is good enough for me. The release date for The Surge 2 is September 24th, in case you haven't heard, so stay tuned for more Surge 2 coverage as we get closer and closer to launch. And also be sure to check out the Surge 2 wiki if you have questions about the game. We will be updating it as soon as we get more information. Hey, you! Warning! Warning! Contamination detected!
Welcome to best clinic this side of Seaside Court, Tavarish. Feeling a bit sickly? Normally, I give you real thorough checkup for free, but we run out of medical equipment. How pathetic, da? I am world-renowned surgeon, yet my hands are tied. I'm not good to anyone like this. Just a moment ago, they shot down secret delivery drone right outside office. Even if soldiers don't find it in time, those damn scavengers will. You'll have to be sneaky. But if you pull off, little heist, I let you use med station on wall for free. Good deal, da? До свидания, товарищ. Found anything? Forget it. There's nothing but rubble. Hey, thief! Again, piece of junk. Ah, there must be something wrong with the power supply.